गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड माई सेल्फ रीना पटेल फॉर एल जे आई टी अवर सब्जेक्ट इज ऑल्टरनेटिव फ्यूल एंड पावर सिस्टम इन ऑटोमोबाइल ब्रांच टूडे वी डिस्कशन अबाउट चैप्टर नंबर नाइन लास्ट टॉपिक ऑफ नॉट कन्वेंशनल आई सी एन जी टूडे वी डिस्कशन अबाउट द टॉपिक इज वॉट इज अर फ्यूल एंजिन एंड वॉट इज अल्टी फ्यूल एंजिन Previous lecture, I can explain the non-conventional IC engine. First is uh, uh, vehicle engine and rotary engine, then free piston engine, then the Stirling engine and variable compression ratio engine. Then after this, uh, next topic is chapter number nine. Last topic is dual fuel engine and multi fuel engine. Okay, let me start. First, we discuss about dual fuel engine. What is a dual fuel engine? Okay, so you can see the diagram. The dual fuel engine is how it is work for dual fuel engine. Okay, so first, how does dual fuel work? Okay, the main is the air or to natural gas mixer. This air to natural gas mixer is drawn into the cylinder. Just it would be in spark ignited engine, this SI engine, but with linear air to fuel ratio. It is a part of this air to natural gas mixer is then drawn into the cylinder. Just it would be in spark ignited engine, this SI engine, but with linear to air to fuel ratio. Second point is. Near this end of this compression stock, means diesel fuel is injected and ignite this, causing this natural gas to burn. So you can see the diagram how it is work. First is air and then this diesel. Means air to natural gas and in this moment of this uh, continuously the engine is work. Okay. Then next point is the uh, dual fuel engine is can operate. Hundred percent this diesel fuel, or this substitution this mixer to diesel and natural gas, which is diesel and natural gas is delivered the same power density, torque curve, and transition response to base the diesel engine. Means the dual fuel engine is operated hundred percent this diesel fuel or substitution this mixer of this diesel and natural gas delivered. The same power of density and the stored power and transition response to base the diesel engine. So it is a how does dual fuel work? Okay. Then second point is dual fuel diagram. You can see the dual fuel diagram. Same diagram, same uh, process. So you can see the dual fuel operation. So first you can see the diagram. This A is the natural gas and diesel to connect it how to pay so okay we so when you this natural gas intake a and this diesel is provided to ignition so no spark plug is provided then diesel is start up and power density and transition performance and also they can replace the diesel at 50 to 70 percent in this situation rate you can see the diagram this air then natural gas then diesel is enter the cylinder through the connecting rod to crank so same the process diagram of this dual fuel then second point is so what is the dual fuel advantage okay so first advantage of dual fuel engine the first is low cost very cheap very low cost engine development means to you you can as a manufacturing the technology to develop this engine it is very low cost engine development second point is less cng storage is required to compare to mono fuel vehicle means the less cng is storage is required means the cng storage is required to less compared to mono fuel vehicle it is a another this advantage of this dual fuel then also the high reliability as a diesel mode to service the backup then another point is the lower emission of particulate matter this 
PM and smoke, which really low emission compared to other fuel. Then also the drivability is comparable to that of this diesel engine. It is a dual fuel advantage. First is low cost engine development. Second is less CNG storage required to compare to other mono fuel vehicles. Then also the higher reliability as a diesel mode. The service backup. Then also lower emission the particulate matter and smoke. And this drivability is comparable to that of this diesel engine. Also the better this uh, resale value of this base vehicle. It is uh, also the advantage of this dual fuel. Okay. Then second point is what is the disadvantage? This the disadvantage of dual fuel engine. So disadvantage first point is the poor part of this load efficiency. Okay. Then second point is dependence on fossil fuel. Then third point is higher emission than compared to CNG engine. And also the complexity in operation. So which is the advantage? First is poor part of this load efficiency, dependence on fossil fuel. Then higher emission than to compared to CNG engine. And this complexity in operation. It is a dual fuel advantage. So first uh, dual fuel engine. First how the dual fuel engine work. Then what is the process diagram of this dual fuel engine? What is the advantage and disadvantage of dual fuel? Second topic is multi fuel engine. So what is a multi fuel engine? Means the multi fuel is sometimes this fail. This multi fuel is any type of this engine, boiler or heater or other fuel this burn this device, which is designed to burn this. Multiple types of this fuel in operation. Okay. First, multi fuel is sometimes this fail. Multi fuel is any types of this engine, boiler, or heater, or other fuel. This burn this device, which is designed to burn this multiple types of this fuel in its operation. Second point is the more common application or multi fuel technology is military setting. The uses of this multi fuel is military technology is wide range compared to this fuel and diesel fuel. Is uh, where the normally used as a diesel or this gas turbine this fuel is might not be available during this combat operation for vehicle or heating unit. Okay, the use of this also the common application is military setting. The city is a vehicle is this wide range of this as a diesel and fuel. Means the uh, normally use as a diesel or gas turbine this fuel. This is not available this during this combat operation for this vehicle or heating unit. It is a part of multi fuel engine. So today we discussed about the last. The topic of chapter number nine, non-conventional IC engine. It is most important chapter for you and also this automobile branch. The basic uh, chapter for non-conventional IC engine in future technology is comparison of this conventional IC engine. Okay, so many characteristics, design development, technology is compared to conventional IC engine. So first uh, we discussion about this uh, uh, previous lecture this uh, what is the non-conventional IC engine the best example of this vehicle engine and rotary in this how it is construction and working of vehicle and rotary engine also the free piston engine and the second lecture you can I can explain those also the Stirling engine the what is the process diagram of and main component of Stirling engine and the last is variable VCI engine, the variable compression ratio engine and today we discuss about the first is dual fuel engine how the dual fuel uh, engine is work then what is the process diagram of dual fuel engine and what is the advantage and disadvantage of dual fuel engine and last is multi fuel engine and another point is multi fuel engine is construct means so that this compression ratio is permit the fitting to the lowest octane fuel this various accepted alternative fuel it is another this point of this multi fuel engine
engine. Means multi fuel engine is constructs that so that this compressor ratio is permitting this fitting the lowest octane fuel of the various accepted alternative fuel. It is a part of also the multi fuel engine. The main 